All right, we're talking about subtracting integers today, 6.3. Basically, it is very similar to what we did yesterday. Okay, there's just one extra step. And you're saying, well, we did adding integers yesterday. Well, it's the same. Okay. Basically, what you have is this. Negative 7 minus 3. Okay. Step 1 is to change all subtraction to addition. We're going to change all subtraction to addition. Okay? We're going to do that by this formula or this definition. A minus B is equal to A plus the opposite of B. Okay, those two things are the same. Okay, so this right here means the opposite of B. So, looking at our problem here, that would mean negative 7, we change this, to addition, and we do the opposite of positive 3, which is negative 3. Now, when you get to this step, Okay, when you get to that step, you follow the rules for adding integers that we learned yesterday. Okay, once again, let's review Okay, we review the adding integer rules. First rule is A positive plus a positive equals a positive. Okay, I'll change those because that makes it look weird. Positive plus a positive equals a positive. The second one was a negative plus a negative equals a negative. The third rule was A positive plus a negative is equal to the sign of the larger absolute value. Okay. So having said that, I have a negative plus a negative. So I just simply take 7 plus 3, which is 10, and I bring down my negative sign. So it's negative 10. Okay. Let's look at another one. Uh, Let's say I have negative 15 minus negative 18. Once again, the parentheses here are just to offset the negative sign. Okay, that does not mean multiplication or anything else. It is just simply put there to make you understand that that is a negative 18. Okay, we don't do anything to the first number. The first number always stays the same. We change the subtraction to addition And then we do the opposite of negative 18, which is positive 18. Now, I have a negative and a positive. So when I have a negative and a positive, I must take the absolute value of the two numbers and subtract their absolute value. So that gives me 18 minus 15. This is subtracting 
their absolute values. That's what we're doing right here. Okay, we're not subtracting the two numbers, we're subtracting their absolute values. 18 minus 15 is what? 3. The larger absolute value is positive, so it's positive 3. All right, let's look at another one. 13 minus 24. All right, as we talked about in sixth grade, we've had this before, so this shouldn't be the first time you've seen it. As we talked about in sixth grade, your first through fifth grade teachers always told you you can't do 13 minus 24. Well, they lied to you. Okay. You couldn't do it with your understanding of mathematics at that time, okay? You couldn't do it with your understanding of mathematics. You can do it, okay? You can do it. This stays the same. We change the subtraction to addition, and we do the opposite of the positive 24, which is negative 24, Okay, now, we have 13 plus negative 24. I have a positive and a negative. So I have to subtract their absolute values. So that gives me 24 minus 13. 24 minus 13 is 11. The larger absolute value is negative, and so we bring that in, that negative sign into our answer. And it's negative 11. The reason we subtracted their absolute value is because you had a positive plus a negative equals subtracting their absolute values and keeping the sign of the larger absolute value. I want you to do this one on your own. Negative 54 minus negative 7. Nick, what did you get? I got negative 48. Negative 48. No. Hey. Hey. Grant, what did you get? Negative 47. Negative 47. Negative 47. So, negative 54. Change that to addition. Do the opposite of negative 7, which is positive 7. Okay. Then we take the absolute value 
the absolute value of negative 54 is 54, and we're going to subtract that from the absolute value of 7, which is 7. 54 minus 7 is 47, and we keep the negative sign. We're not. We're subtracting the absolute values. We're not subtracting. We're subtracting the absolute values because you do not have a rule to subtract negatives by. We're not subtracting negatives and positive. We're subtracting absolute values. That's why I wrote it here and I wrote it there. Okay. Now, Let's look at this one. Negative 56 minus 28. Do that one on your own. So we're not changing it back to a subtraction problem. Yeah, and what did the what did the original problem say? Yep. All right. Now, this one here, negative 56, change this to the addition because we're adding the opposite. To subtract integers, you're adding the opposite. Okay? To add integers, you're subtracting. Subtract integers, you're adding the opposite. The opposite of positive 28 is negative 28. Okay, so here then we have a negative and a negative, so we simply add 56 and 28, which is 84, and it's a negative 84, because you're adding the opposite when you subtract integers. Now, obviously, we're adding the opposite, and we have to follow the rules for adding negatives and positives. Okay? Now, I want to look at this one, this word problem. It says the highest point in South America, and this is number 20, obviously. The highest point in South America is Mount and Con Congoa, I guess, Congoa at 22,834 feet above sea level. The lowest point in South America is the Valdez Peninsula at 131 feet below sea level. Below sea level. It says find the difference. The word difference is subtraction. So I have to take 22,834 and subtract it from 131 feet below sea level, so that would be negative 131. Okay, now, to do this, we simply bring down the 22,834, change this to addition, do the opposite 
of negative 131, which is positive 131. Okay, now we're just dealing with two positives, so we add them together. Okay, that is the difference between their their elevations, 22,965 feet. Okay, so that's how you come up with the difference between the two. Now, remember, subtraction of integers subtraction of integers is adding you add its opposite. Okay? So as we stated, if I had 5 minus 22 to subtract those integers, you simply take 5 and add its opposite of 22, which is negative 22. Okay? And since our rules state that if we have a positive and a negative, we take the absolute values and subtract the larger absolute value and the smaller absolute value, which gives me 17. It is negative. So it is negative 17. Okay. Your homework. Got almost 20 minutes left in class to work on it. Is 6.3. And we're going to go one through twenty eight. Now, you must show all of your work, including the changing subtraction. to addition. Okay. So, get started. <clears throat> 